Hi everybody, Lisa here, back in my car with another Vera Bradley bag of the day, uh, New York City alternate side of the street, parking edition, um, because it seems like that is my life now, is sitting in my car twice a week, uh, <laughs> waiting out the alternate side of the street parking block of time so I don't get a ticket and I don't have to move my car, um, which gives me a lot of time for deep thought which I don't do in my car apparently I just make videos <laughs> um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna make a video today here and so I brought my knitting and I brought a crossword puzzle book so I have a couple more Vera items than I normally would so I thought that sort of lends itself well to a video and I just tried to start I, this is the second time now I'm trying to film this video because I started to film this video and <laughs> I got my I got a phone call, um, and I was I was tempted to try to work it into the video, and so I kept filming because he has such a beautiful voice, and you can hear him, and he's he's not from this country, so he has a great accent. Um, but I just couldn't I couldn't make it work, <laughs> so I just I abandoned it, and I'm starting over again. Anyway, so um, I I. I will show my uh, the bag that I'm using for my knitting, um, but I probably won't talk about my knitting too much, um, although I did get a comment on my last video from Annette. Hi, hi Annette, and thank you for still watching me. Um, she asked about my other channel. I do have another channel called Spinning a Yarn, um, and I've been really remiss. I haven't put a video there in the longest time. And I haven't been knitting a lot because I just kind of have been going through a lot of some, uh, something rather traumatic happened to me in my life and I just, uh, people know I haven't been doing too well and I'm just starting to feel like I'm doing better. And um, so I hadn't been knitting during all that time. I just hadn't had time and mental, I wasn't in the right mental place to do knitting. Um, but I have taken it up and I have started knitting again. And so it might be a good time to try to put a video up there. I mean, that, that channel wasn't just supposed to be about knitting. Um, I was sort of using the term yarn loosely there to mean sort of stories in general. So that, that channel was going to be sort of more where I could really rant about things too. <laughs> um, so maybe I'll try to talk about the knitting there and get that channel more active again but right now I'll just I'll show the bags that the knitting is in when I'll get to that so I have a kind of a bit of stuff in here today um again I said I haven't been buying a lot of new stuff but I don't think I've shown this bag so it's kind of new-ish <laughs> and this is the um Vera Tote let's see Vera Tote in Bloom Boom I don't know that has the best to get it in there the shot. I have my car seat back. I'm sitting, obviously I'm sitting in my front in the my front seat in the driver's side. And I don't think I can get my seat to go back any farther. Anyway, I love this pattern. I, I really I, I love this pattern. And um this is the recycled cotton, unfortunately. Um but I kind of just suck it up and deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> for this um, pattern because I do like it so much but it's the Vera tote the regular size one and you can see let's pull the top up you can see how it just sort of gets real dented and misshaped misshaped misshapen is that a word <laughs> um, and, and I just you know I cannot deal with this cannot deal with this it's just not okay it is not okay with me so so not okay. I mean, now they've knocked the sticker price up to $120, you know, for, for $120, you know, no piping and fabric that doesn't hold its shape as well. You know, it's just like, what are, what are you guys thinking? I mean, I know what they're thinking, but, um, you know, just uh, a lot of, I was just talking about, I sort of had an ex a brief exchange with my friend, Vera friend, Liz. Um, I'm in a couple of Facebook, Vera Facebook groups. I'm in Vera Bradley Buzz. Of course, that's a big group. People probably know about that. But I've also mentioned I'm in um, another one that just started up recently. It's called Vera Bradley Friends. And my friend Liz started it up. And that's I'm really enjoying that one because it's a 
smaller group of us who sort of know each other a little bit better. Um, and I encourage everyone to look, if you're on Facebook and looking for a Vera group, to take a look and see and join us there. Um, anyway, just yesterday, I think it was, she was, we were sort of having an exchange of, like, we were disappointed with the company. We were sort of a little disappointed with the some of the, a lot of the decisions the company's been making lately. And so, you know, this whole recycle thing, I know why, I know why they're doing it but uh, it's not working for me. It's not, it's not working for me. Um, so this is a recycled cotton tote, so no trim. Um, unfortunately, you can see no, no trim at the top or edging the straps, so that's unfortunate. Um, oh God, there's guys going through the trash now. Um, they're filming here in the area somewhere today and so there's a lot of activity on this block because they blocked off the other side of the street to park their trailers and trucks, moving trucks and vans and stuff and they've just started unloading some equipment off of this truck that you can't, it's not in a shot here but uh, just pulled up and they've been unloading some stuff and they're on Riverside Drive. I live on Riverside Drive in New York City now. So I moved back here and I'm so happy about that. But you can, it gets windy here, you can see the tree blowing. Um, it was so windy here, because we're right on the Hudson, we're right off the Hudson River, and so it gets real windy, especially on the corners here. And one year it, um, it was so windy, it blew the awning right off the building. <laughs> I remember that when I was a kid. Okay, so in here, I do have some, some stuff that I had been, you know, just had in the last few videos, but some new stuff, so I'll just, Try to real quick go through the stuff I already showed. Honor roll, French paisley, good pattern, not recycled cotton. I just have all of my tissues, lip gloss, lipstick, mascara, that kind of stuff in there. Also, same as yesterday or the day before or whenever it was. <laughs> um, packable tote in. Uh, Penelope's Garden from the Factory Outlet Store. Love the Factory Outlet Store packable tote. Better than the signature store version, which I don't even know if they're making anymore. And so I just keep waiting for them. I'm always excited when they come out with the new packable totes at the Factory Outlet Store. I'm always waiting for a pattern that I like. Um, also from yesterday or whenever, still. <laughs> The turn lock also on Bloom Boom. So I'm kind of matchy. I have another Bloom Boom thing in here. So kind of matchy matchy today, which I feel like I should be like the Dos Equis guy. Like I, I don't always match my Vera, but when I do, it's Bloom Boom. <laughs> I'm not always matchy matchy with my Vera. But when I am, it's Bloom Boom because I just love this pattern. You know, when I got this tote, I should talk a little bit about the process because it's kind of annoying. Okay, they're like, why are they parked? Why are there's all this activity right around my car, boxes and shit. Um, <laughs> I don't want my car getting scratched. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why, because it's not like my car is new. My car is like 10 years old now. It's, it's not pristine anymore. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I went, I, it was like a big process to get this tote because, um, I, I love the yellow flowers. There's one yellow flower in particular that I love. It's my favorite flower, and it's not, I don't have it. It's not on the, um, this, this particular bag, but I did feel like I got some yellow, you know, here. And so I decided to keep this because I felt like the overall balance was also good. And not too many of these, not too front and center with the huge pink ones with the orange centers, which kind of I'm not crazy about, and also not too much of the beige. The beige, uh, I don't understand why any designer uses the color beige. Just, there's no need for beige. <laughs> the only like clothing I've ever liked in beige has been the stuff they put on Sharon Stone and Basic Instinct, and I mean, let's be honest, you put anything on Sharon Stone, it's gonna look good. <laughs> That's a good movie too. So on the back, I also, I kept this one, I thought the balance was good, I got a little bit of yellow on the front, and also this flower on the back was, is one of my favorite flowers, even though it's not yellow, it's, that, it's sort of a beautiful dove gray, like almost a pale, pale lavender. 
I love that flower. So I thought, well, that that's good. So that's the you know the beige I'm talking about in there. I just I just don't get it. I don't get it. But anyway, there it is. I do like again that's showing the, the underside. I do like that point of view that the designers have used in this pattern. Uh, you see the underside of some of the flowers, like you're looking up at them, and I do like that. That's unusual, and I feel like this pattern in general is a sort of a departure from the more typical Vera-esque kind of patterns, and so I like it for that reason. Uh, no paisleys, no like some delicate, repetitive flowers. Um, I just like this. It's very bold, and. I like the color scheme. It's not very, it's not too overly girly without being manly, as I said. Uh, I think I may have, uh, I did a video a while back where I got some, when I first got some Bloom Bloom items, and I think I may have talked about the color scheme here, but I mean, just to point out, like I sometimes do with a color wheel, I think the reason that this, I like this pattern so much and what's nice about it is it's making use of analogous colors you've got the the range of greens moving into like this pale gray which is kind of like a violet if you're looking at a more complex color wheel and you see all this range of, of tones um, but then it's punctuated with these so you've got this basically cool palette but it's punctuated with the yellows and the oranges and the pinks and some of those colors are sort of opposite on the color wheel from the cooler analogous color combo and so those pops work real well those other colors work jump out and contrast well um, that complement each other well because of that relationship of being opposite on the color wheel anyway so do do like a pattern and i do suck it up for the recycled fabric because of that and so the other matchy matchy thing that i have in here is this i don't remember what this thing is called um i feel like i i'm getting i'm sorry for the noise they're like breaking up a pallet over here so that they can, the garbage men or something are breaking up a pallet uh, it's annoying yeah it's actually literally hammering right outside my car um <laughs> um, I feel like I'm getting, oh, good Lord. I feel like I'm getting a little lax with my pattern names and my item, you know, uh, item style names. Like I, before I, when I used to do a video, I would prep and I would make sure I knew the name of everything. And now I'm just kind of winging it. And I, I'm like, oh, whatever people go to the website, you're on your own. <laughs> um, I think this might be Thai cosmetic. I'm not sure. This was definitely, I got this at the paper store. I feel like it might have been an exclusive to the paper store in this pattern. Um, so I had to order it and I, I feel, I really am pleased with the pattern placement. Again, because I just love this color, this sort of dove gray color, and I got a little yellow there. And then the back is nice little details. And so I'm using this, um, Oh, and this reminds me, so in the online outlet sale that's going on right now, they had one of these, not this pattern though. The pattern was more, almost looked like, I don't know what this lining is. Is this lining like catheter or something? I can't remember what this lining is, but it's like kind of like something like this, but different colors. Um, and I'm not crazy about the pattern, but I like the item and so, and it was super cheap. So I decided to go to get it because the reason I'm liking it is because I, I feel like this might be what I stick with for a while um, when I get the other one and the other pattern. I might use it for this purpose, which is I'm trying to sort of see what I like best for carrying both my earbuds and charger cord together. And this seems to work because I'm liking this for the shape of it. Um, and the inside is, uh, and also the configuration inside. The inside is this sort of sateen lining. It's not, it doesn't have that plastic coat, PVC lining. And then it has this sort of mesh slip pocket that sort of provides a little bit of a organization option in there. And that's where I put my buds. And then I put the, um, the cord in the, the main, the main space below it so or next to it whatever 
I feel like these movie guys across the street are watching me talk to myself in my car. Um, hey, you people are in the entertainment industry. You know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's entertainment. Uh, this I had the other day. Cloudvine Multi uh, eyeglass case. I had to order this. I feel like I ordered it from Zoo Lily. And I did a luck out because I got this on there as my favorite part of the pattern. I do like that. This is new, it, you know, I mean, haven't shown this before, I don't think. Carson cell phone crossbody, strap removed. What is this, butterfly by, I think? Um, I thought I would end up with more in this pattern. I definitely thought I would have a bag in this pattern um, because when they showed this to us in the insiders group in the pattern survey a long time ago, and I saw the swatch, I was so excited. I thought this is great. This is graphic and kind of modern looking, sort of has an Asian feel to it. Um, not typical Vera. Loved it. I just raved about it. But then when I when it came out in bags and I was looking at it in the bags, I realized some of the butterflies were very dark. Like almost all black. There's navy blue. You can see this is navy blue and black one there. And uh, here's the other black one. Although this kind of has a Peter Max vibe to it, a kind of free love 70s vibe to it. If people are familiar with Peter Max and his, uh, his artwork. He's an illustrator and also a painter. Um, and so when I saw it and I was seeing a lot of the bags felt like heavy with the black. Uh, uh, just so I only got started uh, I, I got a couple of small pieces where I could try to avoid the black butterflies it's like they're butterflies do I, why do I want black butterflies that's depressing <laughs> anyway so um, I, I did get this I think I got this in the clearance section of, at a factory outlet store you know sometimes when they have the, um, the um, signature stuff yeah uh, the strap, I remove the strap as I always do. I don't know if I said that. Uh, I have a picture of Duke. Um, I always try to have a picture of Duke on me in a zip ID. This is one of those Star Wars patterns. I, good versus evil, light versus dark. I, I don't remember what they are. I don't know if they're even still on the website. You can look on the website. Or I'm sure people are selling them on eBay. Um, I'm sorry, I don't remember the pattern name. When these patterns first came out, and I'm a huge Star Wars nerd. I remember waiting online, it was 1977, with my parents to see the first movie. Um, so, love Star Wars. But I, I gotta say, these patterns didn't do much for me. They don't do much for me, especially the main one with the, the swirls and, and the flowers. And I, I just don't get that with the Star Wars theme. I mean, I get it from a sense of like, we want to look like Vera, but uh, it's just not what I was hoping for at all. And also the sort of sketchy way that everything is rendered, the figures are rendered, um, kind of bugs me a little bit. But I, I, the ditzy, the version that's more of a ditzy pattern uh, is okay. You know, I, I kind of feel like I get on board with it more. So I have a couple of, um, cord organizers in that and I have the zip ID in that and um, so that's Duke in there and on the back and I, I'm a huge Boba Fett person you know so I had to get I was trying Boba Fett I was trying to get Boba Fett on everything <laughs> I think I have I have the cord organizers I have this and I think I have a pill case with C-3PO on it um, but yeah I wanted Boba Fett and he's no good to me dead um, and so there's Han Solo there. Oh, I just realized I got Boba Fett on the top there, top edge there. Um, so, you know, I, I do, I do like all the elements there. You get the X-Wing fighters and what are these things called? I can't remember what those things are called. Um, from the Empire Strikes Back. And you've got the, the, the Death Star and the lining. Um, so, uh, you know, I, have, uh, I just, I have sort of mixed feelings about the sketchy way that the figures are kind of rendered, and, um, that's a little frustrating for me, but, but I do, I did want a little something in it since I'm such a Star Wars geek. <laughs> what else in here? 
Uh, oh yeah, this was in my video the other day. Coin purse, gotta find my other coin purses because I am feeling like it's time to switch out to a different coin purse. Factory, it's a factory stock coin purse. Um, no, I, I had to move recently and I had to put a ton of my stuff in storage. And so that's kind of always alarming to sort of be confronted with how much crap you have. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to get motivated to get rid of a lot of it, especially because I'm living with my dad now who's elderly and he's very zen, very zen. I mean, he is not attached to stuff at all. And so I come in with all my stuff and he's like, God, you have a lot of bags. Why do you have so many bags? And I'm like, Dad, you don't even know the half of it. <laughs> this isn't even the half of it. It's like little by little, I go to my storage unit and I, I sneak in a couple more pieces of beer into the apartment. <laughs> anyway, so I, the, the whole point of this ramble is that I have coin purses, but they're in storage somewhere and I got to find them. <laughs> so that's one of well, the only one I, see, I seem to have right now. Uh, Rainforest, Canopy, Birdies, Navy, Lanyard. I'm not even sure that's the real pattern name for that, but that's what I am calling it. <laughs> and I showed this the other day. Um, this is the signature store coin purse, Plum Pansies. And actually, this is an interesting comparison. So I, I did switch out to something new for some, uh, some feminine stuff that I was carrying with me. And this is a uh, clip and zip. So you can see they're very similar in size. They're basically the same item, except that this has this uh, kind of wristlet strap with a lobster claw clasp on one end that you can use to sort of attach it to stuff or create a wristlet strap or, you know, so it gives you some options there, how you wanna, what you wanna do. Oh, God. <laughs> what you wanna do with this. Um, this is the new, and I don't remember the name of it, sunflower pattern. Uh, yeah, I can't remember the name of it. Go to the website, people. It's there. <laughs> sunflowers are my apps. I love flowers. Love flowers. Sunflowers, my absolute least favorite flower. Hate them. Hate them. I think they are but ugly. They are too little shop of horrors, Venus fly trappy for me. And um, so, yeah, don't like sunflowers. So I was never gonna get a bag in this, but um, I was in Hallmark and I was looking at them. I think it looks good on bags. I mean, I think it's a good, strong graphic pattern. I just don't like the flower that they chose to do it in. So um, not, not, I don't see myself carrying a bag in this, but I noticed when I was in Hallmark looking at stuff that it has bees. And so as soon as I saw that it had bees, I had no idea. I didn't know it had bees in it. I mean, even I remember seeing this in the pattern survey in insiders group and I didn't notice the bees probably because I was just too appalled that it was a sunflower pattern. And I was like, okay, this is a wasted release for me. <laughs> um, anyway, so I, when I saw this in Hallmark, I thought, well, I'll just get this little item because I knew I liked the item and I got a bee and then that's my little thing. That's my story about that one. And I think that's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, except for this pout medium. I, this was already in, this was in my bag before. Medium pouch in the cosmetic trio, lemon grove, ladybugs. Ladybugs, I know. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. So that's all this crap in actual bag. Sorry, a reminder popped up on my screen and I was looking at the camera there. I'm still I'm filming with my iPad, so um, that's another thing I have that I can't show is my um, tablet tamer in French Paisley that I'm using for my iPad. Um, I'm filming with my iPad, so I'm still getting used to that. And I'm not always sure I'm looking in the right place in the, in the camera. <laughs> sure where the camera is and there's no like green dot to tell me where to look so the other bag that I have just to throw my knitting into was um, the Vera tote in flamingo fiesta 
I'm pretty sure that's what this is called. Please let that be what this was called. <laughs> um, this is a great pattern, and I fell in love with this pattern immediately. I didn't get the tote in it though. I think I got a go ahead convertible crossbody in it, and I got some smaller items, but I didn't. I sort of spaced out on the tote. I think I thought maybe the tote is too much. And then of course, as soon as it was not available anymore, I decided it was not too much and I needed it desperately. Um, and so I had to go searching for it on resale sites and it took me a long time to find. It was not easy to find. And I noticed that sometimes the flamingo items are expensive. This wasn't a bad price. I don't remember what I paid, but I remember feeling like, okay, it's a price I can deal with. And it was new with tags. And what I liked about it was that it, um, the straps, the, the parts of the fabric that were the straps didn't create awkward, too awkward overlaps. That was my concern, especially because the person who was selling it, it was new with tags, but she didn't show, I think it was a she, she didn't show the back of the bag. And so I knew I was taking a chance. I didn't feel like asking for pictures of the back and I knew I was taking a chance not having seen the straps. Um, and I feel like I lucked out. I feel like the strap's a good strap on the back too. And so this is, um. This is the Vera configuration, you know, sort of before uh, the one that they have now, where from the factory outlet store, where you have the zip top and the lining is sort of blousier. Um, this sort of has that lining where you can still see the back of the quilted fabric. I like this better. Somehow it feels stiffer, um, and I don't like that blousey lining, but. It's nice to have a zipper top sometimes. I mean, I'd like the open top, but now that I'm back in New York City, I need a zipper top. It's not like walking around the country where there's nobody around and no one's gonna be trying to stick their hand in your bag. Uh, this is New York City, baby. <laughs> so um, yeah, you need a zip top. Anyway, so I'm just using this uh, for my knitting. Um, and in it, I have my actual knitting bag, which, um, project bag. I have two of these in different patterns. This is the, I think this was like the drawstring knapsack or something, I want to say. I'm sorry. There we go. <laughs> um, I think this was Paisley Wave Fish Turquoise, maybe? Um... And I, I, these are the actual bags that I used to slip whatever. I have a bunch of knitting pro, uh, pa, pa, um, projects always going on simultaneously, but I have two that I'm sort of more actively working on right now. And those are what I used to put in these backpacks. And it's, it, they're a good size and the pattern, the, the project just slips in there well. And with, along with long, it can accommodate long knitting needles. And it's got this front zipper pocket where I have, I can slip a notebook um, for pattern notes and keeping track of stuff with my knitting project. And so that's, that's Vera too. Oh, and that has dog hair too. Even my notebooks have dog hair on them. <laughs> it's a ditzy, um, mini notebook. I didn't, I didn't even remember what pattern I had in there. It's been in there for so long. Seriously, the dog hair flying around. I spent like a, a good hour last night cutting out a, two big clumps of matted hair from the back of Pixie's ears. Uh, I never had a dog like this. I found Pixie. She was sort of dumped. She was dumped um, basically in a pile of garbage and I found her and um, she had these two huge, was she not only behind her ears, but in other places of her body, she had clumps of hair. This, she's a Cavalier King Charles, Charles Spaniel, and that her hair is very fine. And dogs with hair like that, like uh, Golden Retrievers, a similar kind of texture dog hair, uh, that lends itself to clumping and matting if you're not careful. And I, I've never had a dog that really needed, was high maintenance like that. She's fancy. <laughs> I don't usually have fancy dogs. Um, and so she had these two clumps, up, huge clumps of matted hair behind her ears and I couldn't comb them out and I had to cut them out off of her. 
which was oh, it's kind of stressful for me because I didn't want to cut. They're so wedged in up close to her skin. I didn't want to cut her skin. And so I had been, after I did that, when I first found her, then I was real good about combing her ears to make sure that they didn't develop again. You know, I didn't develop these clumps again. But um, lately I've been working a lot and I had forgotten to do to do the ear maintenance and I, I'm so sorry I did I forgot because clumps developed again and I had to cut them out last night and I didn't cut her thank God but just you know it's I feel like having those shorter hairs there it's not helpful you know because I feel like when it's growing in maybe it'll encourage clumping or something I don't know you know, I have to keep on top of it. But her hair is everywhere. I'm sorry to go on and on about it. It's just a huge part of my life. <laughs> anyway, inside there's like the zipper pocket. You can see it on the back wall there. And that's good for like keeping my cable uh, needle and my uh, crochet hook and little other little things I might need when I'm um, knitting. I need a crochet hook in case I drop a stitch. So just to show the lining real quick, this is that, you know, the lining doesn't look like this anymore. I really do prefer this lining, you know, for, um, sorry, just looking at a reminder just popped up on my <laughs> screen again. Um, I, I do prefer this lining without the, the loose fabric hanging around, which is kind of noisy too. Uh, this seems to have more, offer more structure, but, um, anyway, and it has a removable base down at the bottom. I don't know if that's cardboard or plastic. plastic. Oh no. No, it's cardboard. It's cardboard. So, um, and I do like that this has the, and I think they still do this with the pockets in the factory viewer where they've got, you know, a slip pocket on one side and a zipper pocket on the other. I think they still do that. I know they just got the zip top and the lining's different. Um, anyway, so I was, I was very pleased to find this Flamingo Fiesta. So that was it. All my Vero while I'm sitting here and um, it's getting kind of busy on the street now and I, <laughs> I'm trying, trying to resist look, turning and looking at all these uh, movie guys who are standing on the street. I think they're kind of looking at me ta talking to myself like I said. <laughs> Anyway, that was my video today. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.